Hello. <laughs> you good? I start eating a Sour Patch Kid. I don't know why I did that to myself. Look, right before we started recording. Yeah, right before we started. <laughs> by showing Harrison how big my the Sour Patch Kids I got. Yeah. Were. Actually, no. I've so she showed it. Right now. And I didn't think she'd eat it right away until yeah, I looked and up I and she it. started making a face. And she's like, I don't think this is a good idea. I'm like, okay. Look. They're just big. Uh, anyway, I have a whole thing here. <laughs> it's fine. Thanks for but not hello, sharing. everyone. <laughs> this is the Novo Combo Podcast. I'm Bron Cabo. I'm joined by Harrison No. <laughs> that way, this way, that yeah, this way. This, okay. This I'm direction. letting you like talk just to see and feel this out and see how you're doing. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> We're both just here because we want an excuse to talk about anything arranged from anime to comics. But it's mostly anime slash manga today in this series. It's big anime mostly. What do you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, we're really here to clean up our never ending backlog. Harrison's partial backlog. When will it get to my backlog? Who knows? <laughs> see. Who knows? We'll see. But also, some would say it's two people conversing. Like Nova Combo and GBO Combo spot right above my head, wow. right over there. Absolute genius. It's beautiful. <laughs> you can watch every episode on YouTube or listen to it as a podcast by searching Novo Combo on your podcast service of choice. We're everywhere. Anywhere, everywhere. And in this episode, it's episode six of our Haikyuu manga review series. Didn't hesitate there, Harrison. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You got this. Pr- proud of you for doing that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> If you watch that last episode, you'll get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're back. Uh, We just read chapters 207 to 229, which is basically like the first part of season four. So if you are here with us, we don't do non-spoiler thoughts in these series because, I mean, you must be committed. Truly. (laughs) At this point, yeah. You either read it, watch it, do both. Somehow, somewhere, we're we're here. But yeah, let's just get right into it. This is actually the start, the training arc, um, like right before nationals. Mm-hmm. Because Karsuna has made it to nationals, so yay! But now they're doing all these. Um, so we first start off the section with like measurements. Yep. And I find it really funny that there are other people who think that the shortest players aren't gonna hit <laughs> like and it's just like one of those like in passing it. if they haven't i'm sure like normal high school thing you're not paying attention fully to yeah. like other people as much until you're in the gym like oh that's just short kid he's not gonna be able to touch the back the rim or like the back of the board yeah the board yeah it was really funny because nishinoya is like the there's just like one bickering moment where one of like I think it was like a basketball player or something. He was like, "Oh yeah, he's like five four and a half or something." And Nishino is like, "I'm five three. <laughs> like clings on to like the net. <laughs> so much it's energy. Funny. I mean, there was tension there because Hinata was the last one to go. <laughs> and I love how they focus on all like on like what Suki, Asahi, um, Kageyama, and there's one more, right? And like Daichi. I think. Yes. No, 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 Tanaka. Oh, wait, yeah. No, all because like they the... were like rivals. Even yeah, like. Low key um, rivals. Yeah, yeah. Yachi was like, oh, the tension here. <laughs> Yachi's great. Yachi's <laughs> so funny. I didn't get to talk about her as much in the last one, but I love the quick, like, pants to her. It's just great. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. But yeah, Yachi's doing the measurements. <laughs> just love how Kagiyama. And Hinata's like, what's the measurement? Like, and, then, instantly. <laughs> and then Yamaguchi's like, calm down. She has to count. <laughs> what was it? I just, the team dynamic right here was just great. It was hilarious. It was so top good. tier. <laughs> Karasuno's team dynamic is always great. It's always fun. No, it's always fun. But yeah, Hinata is not, I mean, he's a top height person like top measurement but like he he wasn't up there which scared i think a lot of people (laughs) yeah yeah or he matched asahi's i think yeah 
But because he grew. Just, yeah. He grew a little bit. Yeah. He's 5'5 five five officially. He's 5'5. Five five. But remember, Suki is 6'3. <laughs> they were like, stop it. They were like, how tall are you now? This is a tall, skinny boy. It's fine. Bean, bean pole. Yeah, he's a bean pole. Um, we find out here, it's actually another, it's basically, like I said, a training arc. Another camp training arc, basically, but, for Kaguyama. But. But. <laughs> Hinata. Hinata does not get to go to camp. So we, so we think. Yeah. What kind of camp is this, though? Uh, I mean, Kaguyama gets invited to Japan's youth training camp, which is like an elite camp. Basically, the best of the best gets to go here. Um, and train with like an Olympian coach. Yep. yep. Yeah. Essentially, it's just like they're scouting for like their national team, essentially. Oh, yeah. At this age. And I'm like, dude, yeah. that's so cool. Isn't that cool? Only and Kaguya was so unfazed. He's like, okay. <laughs> and then, you know, I was like, did I get in? And he's like, I, I love how Suki's like, you know, this is for everyone in Japan, right? Yeah. Suki has gotten so unhinged with like going at Hinata, and it's just great. Oh but yeah, and Kagiyama. And Kagiyama too. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's great. But Suki also gets invited to a camp. A it's different great. one. It's great. A different one. This is the Shio Torizawa's camp. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I also they I didn't I forgot to mention that last. I think that happened at the end of the last episodes arc where mm-hmm. they did a phone call and they're like oh you wanted like i think the assistant coach was like or the coach for uh joe Zenchi oh yeah got a call and he got was like call. oh let's he just it was very like is it passing it, it was in passing it was like really quick yeah. was, oh you want to do that yeah so no it was cool but yeah suki gets invited again hinata's like do i get invited <laughs> He obviously doesn't. It's like he did not get an invitation. No, no, oh. he did not get invited, but he did crash it. <laughs> I still love like yeah. There's this whole thing. They're ta- you can tell like he's trying to like he wants to do better. You could there's yeah. all this emotional like you yeah. know you can feel it. And then I love the pan of like they're like going down the list of, like they showed everyone lining up, and then at the very end, Hinata. Next to Suki, and Next Suki's Suki. just like, don't stare at this He's idiot. Like, I don't know who this is. I've never seen this man before in my life. I don't play volleyball with him. What do you mean? He's basically like, I'm not Karasu. No, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> Can we also really quick add how Daichi's super supportive of like how... Because uh, Ka- originally Kageyama was for sure like, no, I'm going. Because this is close to the nationals. start of nationals. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. no, this is. I want to do this. Like, real quick. And Daichi's super supportive. And then Suki gets invited. And he's like, oh, that's kind of close to... He's trying to get out of it. And Daichi's yeah. like, this is a great idea. <laughs> yes. Right, Suki? And then you could tell, like, they're Please like... Go. Mm. <laughs> Gotta listen to the captain. <laughs> yeah. Someone but, didn't, um, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not surprising that Suki got invited. Because since, MVP. like, last last game, he was MVP, you know? so MVP of the team, yep. Yeah, obviously. But yeah, Hinata crashes the camp. Um, he actually gets to stay, but he only gets to be the ball boy. He can't play officially. Unfortunate. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. Am I right? But um, I wanted to highlight the part where Hinata gets in trouble with everyone. <laughs> everyone. The day of getting chewed out. It was so funny because I think Daichi was just hilarious because you could see the panel is just like Hinata's just like kneeling and he's just like, I'm sorry. And then Sugar Wara was like, oh, oh, bold of you. Yes, yes. <laughs> like egging him off. Suga, Suga has gotten so, so much funnier. Yes. I think other mid, like mid finals. Or now, if yeah. anything. Yeah. No, but I just love that, like, talking bubble. She's like, bold of you. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> and 
and then the, like Daichi's like there's like a little writing he's like don't egg him on he's like no <laughs> uh, but his coach also yelled at him it's like why are you you know what are you doing yeah and then I love his line where he's like but don't underestimate being a ball boy just like hinting at him like yeah it's a really quick hint like, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 also his teacher his mentor I feel like that one was a bit scarier that was scariest and it was the really scariest. funny yeah he's usually I love the a super call. lighthearted person <laughs> yeah. yeah the phone call and the guy was like you know he's probably usually he seems very nice and very like da 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 but uh, he's probably the scariest one when yeah he's really mad huh it's always it's always the quiet ones the quiet teachers yeah. uh but yeah so basically it's like training camp for everyone training session for everyone um because it's like one month until nationals mm -hmm. i just love how this mangaka he highlights the background players especially for karasuna especially at this point yes at this point yes yeah because when you think about it it is it makes sense because if they're going to go on to next year, they're probably going to be on the team. Their yeah. years are gone. These yeah. guys have to step up. Yep. Because yeah. they're going to be new first years coming in. Like the yeah. basically a whole new like chapter is about to start. Yeah. But yeah, basically, Karasuna is just like ramping up their own team. Yep. Um, I love. Did you love how Yamaguchi was just like, oh, uh, what's his name? Inoshi Inoshita. Inoshita. Yeah, he, how he's like, oh, his floating, his floating serve is great. I have to beat him. <laughs> like he's getting so competitive with or, his own teammate. Was it Inoshita? No, if it's a it was floating, another, the other guy, right? No, no, it was the other guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because he also, H? uh, it was like, yeah, Kinoshita. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I accidentally said the other guy's name. They all said. They're all Shida. Oh my god. They, they, but yeah, he because yeah. he's but he always hides. Apparently. Yes. Uh, yes. But he's gotten uh, Yamaguchi and Kinoshita have like their jump float, like low key rivalry. But you never notice because Kinoshita never plays. No, no, he doesn't. But even like I Coach just... Ukai was like, every time he's like, he's always hiding. <laughs> he's hiding from me. <laughs> but I love the rivalry within Karsuna because I think that's what makes Karsuna a bit crazier than other yep. yeah. uh, teams because they're like. They think of each other as rivals as well. So just seeing little timid, like Yamaguchi, be like, "I gotta be better," <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like Suki's out there being better. I gotta be better too. <laughs> Yamaguchi in the manga is low key crazier. I feel like I think so. Or more aggressive, it feels. Yeah, more aggressive, yeah. Um, but what did you think about Hinata being ball boy? Do you think he? I think he started like learning a whole lot more. I think to sum it up, the very good point. I never, I forgot this part. And he, when he said it, it made sense again. He's mm -hmm. like, I've been told, and I'm so used to just keeping my eye on the ball that the moment I wide, that he widened his view just a little bit yeah. to paying attention how the form, uh, someone's spike form, someone's positioning, someone's reaction. All of a sudden, he knows everything. Yeah, he sees or the floor. He sees the floor yeah he sees like what's going on he yeah. can finally start not just going off of his instinct but his intuition i was like oh my god yes this oh is cool my god. even the assistant coach was like yeah he has like you know he's intuitive but he's not you it was just so funny because he was just like yeah he's kind of like an empty brain and then he was like wait no 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 <laughs> he's not an empty brain <laughs> that's not true i am sorry but it's yeah. all thought bubbles yeah. and you just see you know i was like eh. Like question like, mark under green. yeah yeah, but so. it was great because um Suki's camp was just basically another like gathering of like all these players you've seen in the past together. It's everyone in the district. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. what it is. So reading the manga, I've had a better idea of like where everyone's at now. Mm -hmm. I think when I was watching it because I was binging, right? I didn't. Yeah. I guess I didn't notice as much, but yes, this is everyone in their district. Yeah, and it was cool because everyone's like, oh, Karasuna number 10. Like, yeah. oh, why isn't he playing? Like, they're like ready to like, they all have this low-key ride. Like, I'm going to beat you. Huh? Yeah. Oh, he's not playing? Oh. oh, okay. They all underestimated being Bob Boy. <laughs> it's training in a different way. That was so cool. I think his training was really cool on this front. 
Wasn't it? It yeah. was really cool. No, like I actually it. understand, like gaining understanding on a different front. So yeah, but you know what's scary is that Hinata has always been intrusive thoughts up until now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's now like intrusive thoughts meets into it, like intuition meets like some talent, <laughs> and I think that's what the assistant coach was like. Ooh, he's gonna be scary. <laughs> yeah, because I think what the assistant coach or the coach said was like, um. He was already gifted with athletic ability. Yeah. And then he had good quick instincts. And now I was like, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. now Hinata's quiet. <laughs> yeah, right? It's just like, oh, he's just looking around. Intense. I love how, like, he just stares. And then everyone's, like, or I think one of the setters was like, oh, no, yeah. Or one like, of the players from, like, Alba Joe's side is like, he's staring again. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, uh, what's his name? kunomi or something yeah he had like a very like straightforward face he's like why why is he staring <laughs> and then like his like uh hinata's like date tech friend was just like oh another one staring <laughs> he's hinata's just his head ass he's just collecting his friends <laughs> yeah yeah legit though <sighs> did you like suki here because suki i feel like at some points he was like Hinata moving so much is making me want to do so much more. Yeah, like Suki's actually starting to become more, um, I guess, involved, it seems yeah. like. Because he's usually yeah. so laid back. And everyone says it too. He's like there, but not there. Yeah. Um, I love the one part with him, though, was when they all did a jump to jump to block, right? And he's, yeah. he's like, damn, I'm the shortest. I know. Like, he was like, oh. But I think he, I think technically he was close. No, one of them's taller. I think the one from Dad to Tech is taller. But they're all about the same. It was like 6'2", 6'3", 6'4". It's like, six, it's like really yeah. close. Yeah. But he's the shortest like jump height. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. Isn't that crazy? I, was it? What? What I feel was like they were close? like 6'2", 6'3". I think they, they were, were not. All... I don't think they were, any of them were taller. I think Suki was the tallest. But he's jumped the shortest. I think that's what it yeah. was. Yeah. No, I see, was I'm seeing the panel, but I don't remember yeah. the height. Because it's told <laughs> the height too. on each one. Me too. I like the height reminders, so that's really nice. Did you like the part where that one kid, the giant, was just like, oh, Hinata, you should have been in my Pink. place, yada, yeah. yada, yada. I yeah. was just like, oh. Which I actually forgot about him until like, because yeah. he's the guy from the team that they just, rely they just relied on him, right? Because he was mm -hmm. super tall. Because he was yeah. super tall. Yeah. He's like 6'7 or something. Yeah. Something crazy like that. But I love how like, one, I love how Hinata just vibes with everyone, right? Like, he's able yes. to make them feel good. Can we also talk about how Hinata, like, totally got Goshiki? Like, yeah. I... <laughs> like, it, it's, like, low-key trauma. And that Goshiki's like, what's this feeling? I've never felt this. It's been yeah. so long since someone's had... Uh, giving someone me praise like Giving this. me praise? <laughs> because he's like, I'm so used to everyone being cold or just, like, talking shit about me. <laughs> and then <laughs> and Hinata then, uh, just is just goading people in the best way. <laughs> yeah. Cause then Kendaichi's like, oh, never mind, he's easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause they're doing oh, after yeah. doing like at, like practice after. So they're like trying to get people yeah. to stay. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. But I mean, as you're reading this, Hinata's like receiving or like reading the ball has gotten really good he's able to like not, yeah reading the ball and able to somewhat predict how he should move yeah yeah and i think he just gained great. a new move where he just literally like re jumps to reset himself and then moves. yeah yeah oh yeah his splatter split yeah. step or something <laughs> i love how he's just like rethinking about other things he's done with his old friends he's like splatter and then his friend's like no split <laughs> split his little but monkey it was brain. Yeah, he like pull from, and again, it's just another thing that Karasuna does is they pull moves. They like ste quote unquote oh, yeah. steal moves, and yeah. it's not just from volleyball. That was that was a tennis thing, or his friend was a tennis player. Right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, and then I mean, we pan over to Kagiyama being at camp with all of these like top tier like high school kids. Yep. Um, oh, that was cool too. Was that cool? Get introduced and then, like, he was spiking and, like, 
they were introducing like a whole new group of people that we'll see later on. Yep. yep. Um, I feel like the most hilarious thing that came out of Kageyama's um, camp was that uh, Sakusa, the guy in the mask, he was like approaching Kageyama. He was like, how'd you beat him? What'd you do? How'd you, pra- like, what'd you practice? <laughs> like, what tricks did you do? Yeah. And he's like, uh, we just beat him. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, and I heard you're really good, but you're, you've been kind of just, you seem kind of normal. Yeah. And homeboy was about to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I love him. He's just an, an emo kid. Yes. But, um, did you take anything away from Kageyama's youth camp? Um, about think, Kageyama at least. Essentially, he's a well-rounded player, but then mm-hmm. the one, that one setter, what's his name? Uh, Atsumu. Atsu- the blonde. Yeah, one of the twins. Yeah, one of the twins. Or right now, we don't know he has a twin, right? Oh yeah, that's, yeah, it's true. Excuse me. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that guy. He tells him that he's really good, and he's like, "Oh, but why are you setter?" And then. He calls him a goody two shoes. Mm-hmm. I was like, we later oh. learn on why. <laughs> At first, I was like, I, I remember I when I read it again, I I knew what was gonna happen. Yeah. And I forgot still, and I'm like, yeah, why is he calling him a goody two shoes? I forget. What's the big deal? Well, what's the big deal is because there's a practice game with date tech, and then we find out what the big deal is. <laughs> yeah, now we know. Now, now we learned. know. Yeah. Um, and- that practice game was crazy. It was more, it was intense. It was literally just, and it's crazy because of how far Karasun has come, but even Dante Tech was like, they're kind of off today because they kept losing a lot. Yeah. But it's because I think. They're trying new things. They're trying new <laughs> things. Because all, all while they're, these two are having training camps, they're also training by themselves too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think this is when Karasun or uh, Kageyama starts blowing up against each some of the Each players of his teammates yeah. this is like the yeah. final climax of like his old trauma <laughs> his old self yes i thought that was cool though the king of the court yeah get recrowned essentially yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah. hinata was just like what's the big deal just complain no <laughs> like, it's cool because it's like suki's the only one that's like saying oh he's reverting to being the yeah, king yeah but then it's nice that for once this team is perfect because they don't view it. They don't take they any don't view it like that. They view yeah. it as like a bad thing. They're like, we know what he means, but he's just really bad about talking. They just know how he is, and I think yeah. that's what it is. They built that yeah. relationship. It was basically like his old teammates like didn't know how to communicate back to him because yeah. he didn't know how. But yeah. then here it's just like just argue with him, and not just like just find him. <laughs> just find him. If you don't like it, just don't listen. <laughs> yeah. And it's not because like, yeah, I don't like it, so I don't listen. He's not wrong though. Why don't I yeah. listen? <laughs> They're all low key like No, cuz the first person nice. was Nishinoya and you he was yeah. like you're in the way and he's like what you say? He's like you're in the way of the blah, 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 of the spiker blah, blah. he's like oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a straight up like blowout. Yeah. And I forgot me too. and I'm like oh there was not. No, no, no. But I thought this was a good practice game because like everyone was just basically feeling out for each other again because they feels like a new Karsuna team basically because they have all new like weapons that they're they have going on and like practicing everything Mm -hmm. so i thought it was really cool just to see everyone just be newer yep but then like figuring out like how to play with each other again because that was that was like a rough part oh yeah (laughs) the other team was like are is it me or are they off (laughs) Are they? And Are they because okay? they because we Carson just won their yeah the polem- the like finals. The, the finals and they won against the top like powerhouse team so of course they're like what's going on it's kind of weird but I mean their blocking's great <laughs> I thought it was really cool how the coach was just like Hinata you should just get lost in the crowd. <laughs> Because they were having issues with the, yeah. the wall, yeah. uh, the iron wall, basically. Um, so I thought that was really cool because they kept watching Hinata this entire time. It was just, yeah. it was cool to see him kind of evolve in his his bubble. I just it was love cool. 
it's cool to finally see like see him progress a lot more because his gears Again. are like going yeah like but actually i feel going. like yes he's been progressing but this is like the first time he feels like he he is learning Some, like something he new. is learning yeah if that makes sense yeah, yeah. And, and everyone's also and, freaked out by it too but yeah yeah and it's just like i think Hinata's kind of learning like oh like yes i can score but also like i can be this distraction for everyone <laughs> like actually do it on his yeah. own terms too uh, yes 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 i love it it's great i love seeing their quick it's so cool it's their so quick cool. is great it's always so cool it's so good um but yeah let's just uh get into daichi's nightmare right before nationals which is actually like a very found fear it's not this man is like so fearful of the volleyball court just being taken away from him at school <laughs> it's because it kind of already low-key happened that's why yeah 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 so but i mean as we're ending this arc, it's basically everyone's kind of prepping for nationals. It's like a rest day for them right before the tournament starts. Daichi, like all the third years, they go out and like try to get their fortune. And mm-hmm. <laughs> it was really cute. It's cute that like they're all actually close. And even like uh, Kyoko is actually close with them in a sense too. I know. It's really cute because she's just like, you guys will do well. <laughs> all she's the boys like, are why like do you guys, why do you guys need to yeah it's like why do you guys need to like wish for it yeah you guys are gonna win yeah and they're like oh oh she knows <laughs> but i just love that like daichi's just like let me just check on the the school grounds for quickly um but then like his whole team's there just like playing practicing with each other <laughs> i think i think this was like this is where Haikyuu does it right, where it's like, yes, there are intense games and practices and tournaments, but then you have to really remember that they're just high school kids. They just want yeah. to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Some people don't it. understand flow. The f- no, because I I remember some people were like, oh, it's taking a break, and it's like, oh, the downtime, and I think it's just like, it's not really the right mindset with mm-hmm. some of these things. You need to have. But the, I mean, you gotta yeah. have the flow. But Daichi does have a point. Like, we got rest a little bit. This yes. is nationals. You yeah. Know? Yeah. But yeah, I think Karasuna's ready. Ready I'm to ready, move on. I'm ready to see nationals. It's great. Re rewatch it again. Yes. But yeah, I don't know if you have anything else. <laughs> Did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. No. No, you got most of it. Yeah, I feel no, like. No, no. Yeah. It was good. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. Just like them. They're not perfect. They're working towards stuff. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have anything else? Nope. I'm good. This is a quick and short training arc because we're getting ready to ramp up for nationals. It's going to be insane. Yes. So intense. But thanks for tuning in. You can follow us on all of our socials at Novo Combo and GOVO Combo. If you're on YouTube, comment down below your favorite parts in this training arc. What did we miss? If we missed anything? Your favorite characters, even. But yeah, like this video, subscribe, all those good stuff. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.